Well, thank you very much, Irene Mochuma. We are camped here outside Lee Funeral Home, where the body of the third president, Moi Kibaki, is lying. Uh, the third president, Moi Kibaki, uh, he was confirmed uh, uh, dead today and he was announced by the president, Uhuru Kenyatta. And earlier, President Uhuru Kenyatta was here to view the body, but he did not communicate, he did not talk to the media. Uh, right Honorable former Prime Minister Raila Odinga was also here. Uh, he did not address media. Uh, other dignitaries that have come include Kitui Governor Charity Ngilu, uh, who has remembered Kibaki as a patriotic Kenyan, and she remembered when she served uh, as the Minister of Water and Minister uh, <coughs> for Health in Kibaki's government. And she has also passed the message of condolences. And Kenyans have started gathering around Lee Funeral Home uh, to pay tribute to, uh, to the third president, Moi Kibaki. And joining me now here is some of the beneficiaries. You, you recognize that Moi Kibaki will be remembered uh, for bringing motorcycles, what are commonly known as Boda Boda. Uh, joining me here now are some of the beneficiaries who are, who are making a living from the border borders that were brought by Moi Kibaki. Karibu sana. Uh, nieleze kwa majina lako na utueleze unakumbuka mweshimua Moi Kibaki na jambo gani. Yeah, majina angu naituwa Rogers, eh, nikiwa chairman wa Boda Boda eh, hapa Nairobi. Nina uzuni sana kwa sababu kazi ile tunafanya saa hii ni rais wetu Mustafa Kibaki amba leta pikipiki na uongozi wake tuna uzuni sana kama wana boda boda kupotesha shujaa ambaye ametupa kazi tumekuwa tukikumbuka chuzi tukisema ya kwamba saa hii tuko tunaangaishwa Nairobi lakini mzee angelikuwa mzee mzee angekumbuka ya kwamba ni kazi yenye alianzisha mwenyewe kwa hivyo tunasema Mungu eh, aweze kumuhifadhi mahali pema peponi tutamkumbuka kwa kazi nzuri ametupa kazi na tunaambia viongozi wetu waike mfano wa rais wetu ambaye ametuacha Moi Kipaki Asante sana uh, waja tusikie mzee mwingine hapa tuelezee jina lako na yako eh. kwa majina naitwa Charles Sobonyo mimi nafanya kazi hapa yaya ni kwa kama chairman ya Tigoni and Shaka Road ile uzuni niko naye kwa moyo wangu sijasoma kazi nyingine sana lakini kazi nimesoma ni kazi ya motorbike na hiyo kazi ya motorbike imenisaidia kwa muda mrefu ninaendelea naye watoto na wasomesha watoto sasa hii sasa tumepoteza kiongozi yetu ambaye tulikuwa ametuajiri kazi ningeomba tu viongozi wengine wenye wako kwa serikali pia waagize hiyo mwenendo ya huyo kibaki wetu kibaki ametuacha na tukuna uzuni hata nina uzuni sijui nitafanya namna gani sababu Pia tunaelekea ni kama tunaenda kufukuzwa kwa hii sekta. Hatujui tutafanya kazi gani sasa. Mm. Na kuna watu wetu wengi ama, na mavijana pia wengine wajasoma. Mm. Ningaomba tu tafadhali Mungu amsaidie Mwai Kibaki amweke romali pema peponi. Mm. Sante sana. Uh, let us hear from the last person from the border border sector. Uh, sante sana kwa majina inaitwa Daniel Okongo nafanya huko sasa za Kikomba. Mimi kitu Kibaki alifanya yenye inaweza kunifurahisha ni kutuletia hii kazi yenye tunafanya ambapo tunaijua kama boda boda kitu muhimu naweza kumbuka nayo kibaki wakati leta pikipiki alileta kwa bei rahisi hata nikikumbuka mwaka wa 2013 kama alikuwa naenda nyumbani alewacha kama pikipiki BM 150 ya boxer tulikuwa tunanunua 106500 saa hii ushuru imeongezwa mpaka hiyo pikipiki imefika hadi 150000 500 na hiyo ni different kubwa sana yenye iko ambapo kwa sasa hii tuko na uzuni kwa sababu tunaona kibaki ndiye alikuwa na nia ya kusaidia maskini na watu wa chini lakini hata sasa venye bei ya pikipiki naenda itashinda hata watu wengi kwa kununua kwa sababu serikali imeona hii ndio kazi vijana wamerudi sasa wamechukua ni kama ya kutosha usuru mingi kwa serikali. Sasa mimi kitu ningeomba viongozi wetu wa sasa hii waige mfano wa kibaki na wapunguzee ushuru kwa hii sekta ya boda boda. Bei ya pikipiki irudi chini ili vijana waweze ku own pikipiki yao binafsi. Kwa sasa hii mimi naomba Mwenyezi Mungu amlase mali pema peponi. Asanteni. Those are the views of uh, Kenyans who are making a living from using boda boda. Uh, that were introduced here uh, by President Mwai Kibaki during his reign.
uh, and he, he will also be remembered for introducing free primary education uh, in 2003. And joining me now are some of the Kenyans uh, who have benefited from free primary education. Tuleze jina lako na tuleze unakumbuka kibaki nani? Bas mimi kwa majina naitwa Kasiano Marvin Sadaka. Uh, ningependa kumkumbuka Kibaki uh, Mheshimiwa Kibaki kwa mambo mawili ya kwanza nakumbuka Kibaki kwa, kwa amani wakati Kibaki alipoingia sisi wa Kenya tulikuwa tuko na amani tulikuwa na amani ya hali ya juu hata ekonomi yetu ilikuwa ni mzuri kabisa tuliishi kwa amani vitu zilikuwa zina kwa affordable kiti ya pili nakumbuka Kibaki kwa sababu ya free education mimi mwenyewe mtoto wangu ame ame ame, manu, ame, ame ya, ya been benefited kwa hiyo free education na mimi pia kama mchungaji ningependa tukutoa mfano wa ule mtumishi wa Mungu alikuwa anaitwa Elisha eh, na Elijah eh, Biblia inasema kwamba wakati Elisha alipo alipochukuliwa na Mungu spirit yake iliingia kwa Elisha kwa hivyo mimi naomba siku ya leo hiyo spirit mzuri ambayo ilikuwa ndani ya kibaki ya utulivu na ukomavu iingie kwa mheshimiwa Raila Amolo Odinga aendeleshe namna hiyo asante very much. Uh, let us hear from a direct beneficiary of uh, free primary education uh, tueleze jina lako na utueleze wewe ulisoma masomo yenye haina malipo Eh yeah, nilisomea primary yeah, bila malipo. Naitwa Morgan John eh, Mwai Kibaki former president. Namkumbuka juu alifanya tukasoma bure primary free primary education tulisoma bure na Mungu amlaze malipema peponi. Thank you very much. Uh, 